If you ever face an issue that the node MCU not detected by a computer or a USB COM port is not working because of the driver issues on Windows, in this video lesson will help you fix this problem. I have covered both types of node MCUs in this video lesson so watch till the end. This video is sponsored by Altium Software. Altium is the PCB design tool I used in my very first job when I was working for a company in Germany. Using Altium gives you two advantages in my opinion. One is that you can really build a professional skills. And the second one is you can not only build a simple small circuit, but you can build a really complex high speed electronic circuit using Altium PCB design. So claim your free trial today with the link in a video description or somewhere in a comment section. And I'm sure you will enjoy working with Altium. So here we have a Node MCU which has a CH340 driver chip. So we're going to connect this Node MCU to the laptop. So we need a micro USB cable. I'm going to take the micro USB end and connect to the Node MCU USB. Then we open the device manager on Windows 11. Then you can see the it shows like USB serial, but it doesn't show CH341 drivers or something like this. So this basically needs to install the drivers and you see it automatically install the driver. Okay, but in case if it doesn't install the drivers by itself, then I would suggest you to let's say you can go to Google and you can just put CH340 drivers for Windows 11. I have given the link in a video description. So you can go to this link which says oemdrivers.com or something. And then let's check out for this one. Okay, so it takes some time it says for Windows 11. So you can click this. So this basically will download the drivers. You can see here it get downloaded. So let me open this drivers folder. It, it already came up, but sometimes it doesn't shows up. So that's the reason why I'm showing you this video, right? So, so you can just extract the folders. And then you just have to run this exe file say yes already can able to see that my drivers is detected right so look at this my uh, node mcu is detected here now when we connect the other node mcu it has a cp2102 uh, square uh, chip uh, from the silicon labs and uh, let's connect this node mcu to the laptop and uh, install the drivers for it basically we don't need to install any driver for cp2102 the laptop means whether it's a windows or mac uh, it installed the driver by itself, but if it's needed in case some issues, we can able to connect this node MCU usually install by itself. Look at this, like CP2102 USB UART bridge controller doesn't. It, it automatically install maybe if you give a couple of seconds, it's gonna do it. If not, then just you have to go to Google again and you just have to search for CP2102. 2102 drivers for Windows 11 and uh, you can get the Silicon Labs silabs.com so click on that and uh, maybe we will also download and install the drivers for this one so go to download and uh, then there will be and I would say Windows driver this this one and it starts downloading CP210 x windows this one cp210 x windows driver that's what i'm giving try right now then just open the folder and let me extract this so universal driver is not right one look at this so this one universal drivers are useless right so just remove it in my case. So the one that we freshly downloaded is CP210X Windows drivers and you can see there's an exe file for 64-bit Windows operating system. I will click on yes, next, accept the terms and say next. And uh, it's done. It says, uh, let me show you the, the device is updated. So I can click on finish, close all the jargon and you can see now that yellow color you know triangle is gone and now the node mcu detects uh, the silicon lamps now if you don't believe it just open your arduino ide okay and now as you know that i have connected silicon lamps so i go to tools and uh, you can see under the port i can see com4 right and uh, if you com3 sorry 
Um, so if I open the tools and under the port, I can see COM3, right? So I can select COM3 and write my Arduino program. I have made another video where I have showed step by step how to write Arduino code and then, you know, build really cool applications. Now let's go back to um, maybe the drivers you can see. I have Silicon Labs. Now I connect uh, the CH340 uh, node MCU. Okay, so you can see it's a CH340. And if I go to tools now again, if I go to tools, port, and now you see COM4. So I can see COM4, I can select COM4, write my Arduino program. You see, for the first node MCU, it was COM3, and for um, CH340, it was COM4, and for CP2102, it was COM3. So if I change the node mcu you can see the com port changes right Let me just plug it and you can see for silicon labs it says com3 but whatever the com number is right you have to select in arduino tools section properly in order to program your arduino id okay i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining uh, if you want to see more videos on Node MCU and ESP8266, very much detail, uh, technical videos, you know, going into every nitty gritty details of Node MCU, then check out the link in the video description. And I have given awesome video playlist for Node MCU and programming ESP8266. I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining. We'll see us into the next video lesson. Bye bye for now.